3,000 years ago, the mighty Hittites ruled over the central parts of Asia Minor, today's modern Turkey. Their capital, a holy city, was protected by a wall almost seven kilometers long. Researchers have now revealed just how much the Hittites acknowledged and served celestial deities. Most of their temples were aligned according to astronomical parameters. Their exterior walls and the city's gates point toward the sunsets at the solstices. The whole city and its most prominent bastion were aligned from south to north. The Hittites even built chambers to catch the sunlight during the solstices. It's very likely that the rays of the sun illuminated the statue of a deity during a New Year's festival. Not far from the city lay one of the holiest places in the Hittite kingdom. It's a rock sanctuary with over 90 deities, humans, animals and mythical figures cut into the bedrock. Several of these figures have a celestial connotation. Among them is the sun god of the heavens. Twelve identical male gods are reminiscent of the months. Two bull men stand on the hieroglyphic sign for earth and they're holding a bowl marking the sign for sky. One procession of deities comes from the left and one from the right. They meet in the center, which is due north. At this point, the highest gods of the Pantheon come together. Temple buildings in front of the sanctuary sealed off the natural chambers. Once again, the building walls were aligned toward the sunsets at the solstices. What's more, a sculpture of a Hittite king only catches sunlight at the time of the summer solstice. The latest scientific breakthrough explains the function of the 64 sculptures in Chamber A. It turns out that these sculptures form groups whose numbers fit astronomical parameters. There are 12 deities for the lunar months and 30 for the days of each lunar month. There are five superior deities without a technical function and 19 female deities to mark the years. Of these 19, eight were separated to keep track of a second cycle. These are exactly the elements that are required to make a lunisolar calendar work. Chamber A of the Rock Sanctuary was thus a calendar. The day, the lunar month and the year were indicated with movable columns handled by the temple priests. The calendar helped to determine the year for farming purposes, but also to establish religious festivals and to predict eclipses of the moon, because these eclipses were thought to harm the king.